can suggest this when it comes to you advocating for yourself. If you have this idea in your head that you can admit when you're wrong, I say you should advocate for yourself. But the moment that you realize that, you know what, ooh, you know what, I fucked up. I really, yeah, you know what, you're right. Apologize. Yeah. And I think that allows you that freedom to, A, advocate for yourself, but it also gives you a road back. And I'm not saying you should apologize just for the sake of apologizing. Like, if you like, because I think part of the problem, too, is, like, we as a society need to take away our biases from everything. Like, as I like to call it, leave our ego to the side and truly express what we're feeling in a manner to which it's like it's open to us being wrong because it, it, it gives you that mindset where like you know what you know what y you know i felt uh, for example i felt hurt i felt hurt by what ash was talking about or what she the way she said something to me but she didn't mean it was me it was yeah. my it was my it was my insecurity it was m i fucked up that day yeah so i don't know just a suggestion for no, you no i i agree with that but i also feel like in part of like saying like, I know, like, that night that I, con like, I called you out, I felt bad because I made you feel bad. And I was like, oh, But you shouldn't God. feel bad because you're giving the opportunity to grow. I understand that. Yeah. I understand. And the reason I did it was because, like, I was like, no, I'm not going to just, like, stay quiet because I love Nez. Like, like that's literally what my thought was. Mm -hmm. And I was like, like, shit, like, how do I say this well, in, like, like, a nice way? And then also, like. When I told you that, those things, and then you were like, well, Ashley, you did all these things. I was like, oh, shit, you're right. Like, well, and, you know, I got caught out, too, and I was like, oh, saying sorry sucks, like, because I made you feel bad. And I was like, this is probably how she's feeling because, you know, she's feeling maybe like she made me feel bad. And I'm like, okay. But saying well, sorry. Well, saying I, f I felt bad saying sorry because I knew, like, I had hurt your feelings. If that makes sense. Well, like for me, like the reason why I was upset that you called me out was we're all different. So for me, and I, sp I specifically remember telling this to both you and Saray, my sister was, you know, I felt like sometimes y'all forget how much younger I am than y'all. I do. I and will not lie. I forget that. Yeah. And it's a compliment for me because I feel like I'm, a lot more mature for my age than most 21 year olds but at the same time the way it made me feel that night was i've already gone through years of you and saray acting the exact same way i was acting yes so for me i felt and you were looking at me like what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> <laughs> i was i literally was like are you fucking kidding me like y'all are both calling me out and i've listened to y'all cry and bitch and y'all were in the same position I, can I was relate in. to that feeling, not necessarily when it comes to the context of the conversation, but like for me, it's like not to, to cut you off, but for me, like, well, God forbid I'm having a fucked up day. Right. And yeah. that's how I felt initially. I was just like, I can't believe these girls are like calling me out when <laughs> I've been there for them in these moments and never called them out. But at the same time, should I, should I have called y'all out? Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And for me, like, it wasn't just a lesson to take in that, like, I need to work on, like, my bitterness, but also maybe I need to find ways to be a better support for my girls yeah. because they need to be called out, too. Yeah. And, you know, and you know what? Because, look, yes, some, some, uh, like, I don't, I, like, I'm speaking for me. Like, when I'm having my days, it is fucking illogical why I'm feeling a certain way. Yeah. So I almost I need like a hard Me like too. you know how you you need like a hard reset on your phone. Mm -hmm. I need a hard reset that day. I'll, I I like to think that it doesn't happen a whole lot, but I have my days where I'm like, what the what the fuck is wrong with me? Yeah. Because this shit ain't the way I'm feeling right now. A A B and C doesn't make sense. Yeah. So I need a hard reset right now. So yeah, we should call people out. I'm not saying you should. What a fucking. Dumb, I mean, you got to be tactile with. It. You got to be not. You, you got to try to find the the nicest way to do it. You know. But, yeah, because we got to build each other up. Mm -hmm. If not, then where are we going to be at? Yeah. You know?